Okay, so here's something I never thought I'd have to do so recent and frequent are panels. You see these like panels right here? Okay, here is, hold on. You see that black knob right there? Okay, first of all, it's not supposed to be that tight and it's really hard to turn it on and off. Like it's way too tight. So this morning we were producing like absolutely nothing. Um, no electric on our panels like our panels were getting charged but we weren't getting it and couldn't couldn't get to anything so i had to call the company we had to turn off hold on that that one right there and then we had to flip a switch up there and then we had to turn that off wait a while turn that on could not get that to turn off and the turn on and from the off position because it was stuck had to have my daughter come out here and we were trying to fix it and then flip that on. It's only been a week. Yeah. Shouldn't have had to do that. And apparently it lost connection to the Wi-Fi, but our Wi-Fi has been on. There's been no issues. So every single time there's a problem, we have to go through those steps. And here's the thing. Unless Daniel's home, and Daniel hasn't turned it on or off yet. I have. And it's really, really hard. It's honestly opening a door with the baby lock on it and undoing the really hard child safety things is a lot easier than that because that you have to like push in and turn it and if you don't have the finger strength or like it's ridiculous i don't get me wrong i like going solar it's great i don't know if you can see them up on the roof but it's great it's just that's too much it's too much um and it gets stuck so there's just some somebody out here to like loosen it more because I don't know if they tightened it too tight or if that's how it's supposed to be. But God forbid if it's just me and there's an issue where I have to shut it down immediately besides the um, rapid shutdown. I there, There's just no way. And I have a little buggy on my arm. Okay, I'm going in. I just want to show y'all update. It's a weekend of having the panels on. Oh, and then we found out through the solar company too that it takes a couple of months for the energy company to switch over our usage fully. So right now, hold on. So even though it says that we're producing more than what we're using, we're still getting a usage charge. So like, let me, let me explain. The average that we use during the summer is about 30 to 40 uh, kilowatt hours. It says that we're, our panels are bringing in like 50 to 60 um, kilowatts hours on charge. And we've been using way less than that. And Duke is saying that like our extra usage that we produce is usage that we're getting off of them. Like it doesn't make any sense. But it's going to take a couple of months. It's starting to rain. It's going to take a couple of months, maybe like next bill or bill after, where it says that we're actually producing and they have to pay us. But um, a solar company said if they're still trying to pull that by like October-ish, September, October-ish, um, to give them a call and they'll like reimburse us and things like that because that should not be happening, especially when we are producing way more than what we're using. So just an update. It's been a week. I know you guys like this stuff, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye, guys.